I'm Becky Durham, pastor of Peace Presbyterian Church, and this is the Wednesday Word for February 5th. This coming Sunday, we continue our reading of Jesus' Sermon on the Mount as recorded in Matthew 5. We will read Matthew chapter 5, verses 13 through 20. Listen now for the Word of God. Jesus said, You are the salt of the earth. But if salt has lost its taste, how can its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything, but is thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it under a bushel basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. For truly, I tell you, until heaven and earth pass away, not one letter, not one stroke of a letter will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. This coming Sunday at Peace, we have Sunday School for All Ages at 945. We will worship together at 11 a.m., and we always have food and fellowship after the service. This week, it's also our annual congregational meeting, which will happen during the fellowship time after the service while we are eating. I hope that you'll come and hear reports from all of our committees, people working hard in ministry on behalf of peace and in partnership with God. If you are looking for a church to call home, or if you are looking for a place to consider what it means to be salt and light and a disciple of Jesus, I hope that you'll join us. May God bless you and keep you this day and always.